On the catwalk of the Grand Palais during Paris Fashion Week, it was at times difficult to distinguish the difference between the giant fresco and the model's clothes. Similar patterns decorated both. It was psychedelic elegance that is how designer Dries van Noten described his collection of trench coats, shirts, slacks and blazers decorated with the wild and colourful prints. There was a touch of military feel with belted coats. Evening wear came in dark green velvet. Slim pants revealed burnt orange toned socks under two-toned loafers. It was sometimes extravagant and always elegant. For me it was yeah, uh, a kind of psychedelic elegance. That was really something which I wanted to do. Elegant, which is always one of my, my keywords in menswear. But on the other hand, also kind of a craziness, something really silly. Was there a touch of craziness from French fashion designer Jean-Paul Gaultier? He mixed rich and poor fabrics, from nylon to mink and velvet in his collection. That brought a twist of what you might call the dandy look and created more ruggedness to the classic silhouettes. There was a mix and match of capes and bow ties with hats askew. Printed tattoos, bricks and sailor stripes brought texture to the dark colours of burgundy and deep blue. There is a strong British feel with Baker Street's most famous resident and influential figure in these designs. Hats off to London then, boys. Next winter, I think it's like a mix of two types, let's say like a, bon, let's say that there is something a little Sherlock Holmes, uh, you know, a, a little of Sherlock Holmes, you know, like a dandy, kind of dandy, you know, a way like quite British. In Berlin, meanwhile, German designer Guido Maria Kretschmer has taken his guests on a long journey. It's a ticket to ride on the Trans-Siberian Railway with his collection. Yeah, okay. yeah. I traveled on the Trans-Siberian Railroad and this is a look at what I encountered from Southwest and Central Asia through to Mongolia all the way to China. Mongolian, Southwest Asian and slightly Japanese looks. So it's folklore but interpreted in a completely new way. It's unlikely the German designer saw anything just quite like this on his journey. The Trans-Siberian Railway passes through eight time zones and travels over nine and a half thousand kilometers, one third of the way around the world. Its influences were here on the catwalk in Berlin. Extraordinary outfits, delicate but wearable. The models looked like geishas, topped with some Russian fur hats, showcasing Asian looking dresses with floral prints, floating fabrics and magnificent cuts. The 47-year-old designer Kretschmer founded his label in 1987, starting off with just three employees. The theatre and surreal nostalgia were the inspiration, say the designers, for this collection from the Hugo Boss label. And so the models showcased outfits of brilliant contrasts. There was a lot of colour, pink and orange for the ladies, purple for men. And watch out for the turtleneck top. Yes, you thought, like other fashionistas, it was gone forever, never to return. It is apparently on its way back and can be found in a wardrobe near you. And giving some lift to those shiny accessories, the little silver crowns and matching silver nail polish was the catwalk featuring a high-gloss white piano finish.